Hi, I'm Craig Lamert. I'm the Executive Director of the Autoimmune Hepatitis Association. I'm also a hepatologist at Indiana University. Many of my AIH patients have been very worried about the risk of immunosuppression medications that pose to them if they were to contract the novel coronavirus. In the past several months, nearly 20 research papers have been published examining a variety of immunosuppression medications and how they could impact the risk of severe outcomes with COVID-19. These peer-reviewed papers have reported on the outcomes of patients with autoimmune diseases such as inflammatory bowel disease, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, and autoimmune liver disease, as well as those that have received liver or kidney transplants. The number of people with coronavirus who are examined in each paper ranged from 1 to 600 and included a wide range of different medications and dosages. Results from these studies have been generally consistent. When comparing COVID-19 among immunosuppressed patients to those not on immunosuppression, there has been no strong evidence of more severe symptoms, no increased risk of hospitalization, and no increased risk of death. We can generally interpret these studies as good news for autoimmune liver disease patients who are taking immunosuppressant medications, but we need more data to fully understand the risk. Another important issue is that patients taking immunosuppressants can have other risk factors that increase their risk of having severe outcomes with COVID-19. These include things such as advanced age, obesity, diabetes, high blood pressure, being male, and even having cirrhosis. The Autoimmune Hepatitis Association firmly believes patients should continue their immunosuppression medication unless their liver doctor says otherwise. This recommendation is keeping with all published papers that I've mentioned and also stresses the importance of maintaining treatment with immunosuppression unless your doctor recommends a different course based on your own unique medical situation. As always, please be sure to contact your doctor before stopping or starting any medication.